Hello everybody! Um, I've got a sketchbook page for you guys today. Um, I'm working on a sketchbook as part of my thesis because my thesis is me kind of figuring out what I like to do so I wanted to approach um, some portraits with different watercolor techniques so this sketchbook is just gonna be filled with that. Um, they all are made with a photo reference because I don't really want to think about subject matter so much like it's not illustrations I want to think about my painting processes um, and I want something that's not too uh, like mentally taxing if that makes any sense because when you're making illustrations you really have to like focus on the concept and composition and all this stuff. Not that I've shown any of my illustrations <laughs> on this channel so far, but yeah, so this sketchbook is just made, it's just portraits. And uh, for this page, I just did a light wash with some different colors and then I wanted um, to go over it um, with just like a kind of monotone kind of look. With this first image that um, I'm painting right now that you can see, I got a little bit, I overworked it a little bit. I didn't really have a plan. Like I had the reference and then I kind of sketched it out very lightly on the page and I was kind of following that, but I didn't really know what I was doing and I kind of got away from me. I don't really like how it turned out either. Um, I ended up using opaque colors on it that you'll be able to see later. Uh, it's like, it's just not really what I was going for. There's lots of mistakes with it, which, which is fine, but because I wanted to do, I had done a page before in a former sketchbook where I had like a red wash and then I had, I just used ultra, it was a lizard crimson, and then I used ultramarine blue over it for like, just like the shadow shapes. I really liked how that page turned out, so I was kind of trying to do that again, except with that page, I sketched out um, a little sketch of all the different portraits, and then I did the wash, but for this one, I forgot to do that sketching part, so I was kind of going in blind, um, since I, I'm not really good at, um, oops. I'm not really good at just painting without a guide yet. Although for the second um, portrait in this, uh, I think that I did a better job. I like how that turned out a lot more. It's very, it's more spontaneous and I feel like the washes turned out better. Also, what made this hard is um, the yellow. Yellow is not a color I use so often or so much, and it kind of threw me off. See, like, where it is right now, it wouldn't have been so bad if I just kind of tidied it up and left it alone. But I over-rendered it, which is my problem, and then I threw in the gouache, and it was just... It's not really what I wanted it to be. There's a lot of different styles kind of going on in the sketchbook, and when I finish it, I'll, I might, like, do a video just showing it and going through it. Yeah, but I, it's fun to, like, look back and watch, watch <laughs> me make a bunch of mistakes. You can kind of see how I'm thinking, like, as I approach this, um, which is fun, but, yeah, I don't really like how this page turned out. Like, as a whole page, and then the individual parts of it. I'm not really feeling it. I wonder how I'll feel when I finish the sketchbook and I, like, go through it, though. So, the next video I'll probably do is that watercolor collection video that I keep talking about and never doing. It's just, like, I have to sit down and it'll take... It'll take some time, and I have to do it when my roommate's not here, because, I mean, she's not noisy, but I don't have a real microphone yet, so it'll pick up a bunch of noise, and I have to do it when I can just sit down without any 
distractions like going to class or going to meet people or something. But I really want to do that one. I was supposed to do it over Thanksgiving break, but I didn't do that because I just needed to relax. You can see me adding color you know and since it's like watercolor and then uh, the gouache on top the gouache isn't very colorful it's just very white and unsaturated which I don't like either and I wish I had just kept it to like the highlights but I had to fix a lot of problems with it it's like is it a bad sketch <sighs> I can't really say it's a bad sketch, it's just not what I wanted it to be, and it's not really a style or a look that I want to continue and pursue, but it's not terrible. For this second portrait, I just kind of went straight into it, there's no sketch and I wasn't really trying to follow the reference with any kind of fidelity. Not that the first sketch looks anything like the reference that I chose, but I was just trying to get the overall shapes and an overall kind of mood and feeling out of it. And I really like how this one turned out a lot more. And it's, I didn't use any opaque anything on it. I like how the colors mix together. I like the, granulation and the blooming and the overall shapes and values and it's just really fun and it was fun to do and it's, it's, I like looking at it so it's much more of a success and it took shorter because I kind of just did it instead of mucking around it's like looking at both of them it's just such a difference in like style and approach and feeling. The first sketch almost feels to me like I'm trying to do something that doesn't really come as naturally. And then, and it looks kind of awkward and too involved. There's too many touches of the brush on the paper. Whereas this second sketch, it feels more spontaneous and more Just, it just feels better to me. I don't know. Some people will probably prefer the first one. I'm not one of those people. It just looks really awkward. Thanks for watching. I'll just let the music play. Finish up this page. Thank you.